you guys had some success stopping the run the first three weeks. Yeah. Been a little bit more of a struggle against Kansas State and TCU. Just what do you guys need to, to clean up to kind of fix that, especially going into Texas and Bijan Robinson sure. this weekend? You know, we got a lot of things to clean up. Um, you know, we're all on on a piece of that what's happened the last couple of weeks. Um, but you know, the only way I know to approach is just go back to work. We've evaluated um, every. Everything and everything matters. Every step matters. Every eye transition, it it, it, it all matters. And uh, you know, so we just got to go back to work. That's all I know how to do. Uh, there's no magic. Like I said the other day, there's no magic bullet or magic dust you throw on all of a sudden. But hard work and commitment to the process and uh, and belief to to how we do things. Uh, we've got a a leader that that is built for this. That. Uh, that understands it and has been through it, the process, and uh, we're committed to that and the belief in our players. Ted, um, when there's players running way behind the defense, 20 yards, 10 yards, whatever, uh, it may be an indication that somebody didn't get the right signal, the play call. Can you kind of describe, without giving up company secrets, uh, maybe the, the process between yourself and the sideline, and then from the sideline, you got guys signaling stuff in, and then Brent's doing hand signals. It looks like guys are not getting the full call or, or whatever it might be. Well, I, I know what plays you're referring to, and uh, you know we don't have any coverages where we let people run 20 yards behind us. We don't design coverages like that. Uh, so uh, mistakes happen. There was a mistake, and uh, you know that things that we, we can't happen that we've got to get corrected. So the whole whole process that's been the process we didn't we didn't change how we do things from week three to four or five as far as that that process so um that's something that you know we've just got to got to clean up is there a tendency to want to fix that or or address that from a communication standpoint oh yeah we we're we're addressing we're addressing everything just like we do when we win because when you win it's everything's not always perfect either you know so you have to go through the same process of Correcting mistakes, so again, so you can improve, and that's that's what we got to do, and we understand that. Yeah. Yeah, Ted, has it been too complex the last couple of weeks? Do you try to simplify it or anything like that in terms of just the game plan? Well, uh, you know, when we execute in practice, and then you know, obviously we didn't execute very well the other day. Um, you know, you, you look at everything. You, you look at yourself first, and um, and certainly we all made mistakes, and uh, we've got to get those corrected. But as far as saying we're gonna, we're committed to what we do, and uh, because we have a lot of flexibility within our scheme, and uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna continue our process, process of how we how we game plan and how we install and how we practice, and you know. Taking it to the game field. Yeah, after the game, Brent mentioned the word, used the word panic a couple times on defense. How sometimes the guys look like they were panicked a bit. How do you guard against them not letting big plays drag them down over the duration of the game? And were there times when you just saw maybe ten guys doing one thing and just that one guy trying to do maybe too much and takes himself out of the play? Yeah, uh, you know, panicking men that uh, uh, like you're in phase on a route and you know to be able. to Play through the basket, turn and locate the ball. Uh, all the things that you do, you know, you can do when you're in, in phase, um, you know, and just playing the ball. But uh, say panicking, um, you know, guys just got to do their job, and we as coaches got to do our job. So uh, it's it's really that simple. Uh, the precision, the fundamentals, the aggression, uh, the physicality, all the things that go into uh, to being a, a good defensive football team, and. Uh, you know, that's like I said, we got to get that fixed and we got we to grow in that area uh, real quick. Yeah, it's, uh, we saw the first uh, few games of the season, the defensive ends had a, a really big impact, especially Reggie. The last couple of weeks hadn't been, uh, that hadn't been the case. What have you seen from those guys, especially uh, Reggie Grimes, that's, that's different? And, and what can you do to you know, put them in better position to? Be impactful on this defense moving forward. Well, each each defensive call has a a strength, and each defensive call has a stress point. And uh, you know, within each call, you know, you guys that some guys that do dirty jobs that may not still show up in the stat sheet, and some guys are when they're you know we call blitz and we get a 
free runner at the quarterback. Everybody sees that, but they don't see the guy that went inside and ate two blocks and things of that nature. So, um, you know, our scheme, uh, again, is player friendly. It's aggressive. Um, and, you know, as far as specifically with Reggie, uh, you know, it's uh, something he's just, we all got to just keep getting better. There's, like, like I said, I, I, there's just no magic dust, man. It's just, it's just a process to, to, to show up for work every day and, uh, and bust your butt to get it to get it done and improve. And uh, we've got it, but we've identified the areas uh, like we do every week. Again, like I go back, even when we win, we do the same thing. It's not like we gloss over wins and move on to the next deal. No, that's not what we do. Uh, so, from that standpoint, it's just with, within each each call, there's a, there's a strength and a stress point. And somebody's got to do dirty jobs sometimes, as opposed to running free. Yeah, Ted, you guys are playing with a roster mostly recruited for a different scheme. How much of your problems are related to getting guys acclimated to to a new scheme? Uh, it's year one of a, of a new scheme, and there's a you know there's growing pains that, that usually accompany that. Uh, but at the same time, um, the, the fundamental aspect of it and, and just the execution. The, the precision that we've just got to got to continue to go through and uh, and work to get better. Is when, when we talk about the new scheme, it's not necessarily having to learn it. Sometimes it's guys ill suited to the new scheme. Do you have any of that? No, I don't. I don't. I don't think we're ill suited for our scheme. No, if we were, we would have done something else. Uh, we evaluated our personnel when we got here, and uh, this is you know this is what we what we feel fits into our, our personnel. You talked about some of the mistakes at the, the back end. How do you work on that communication in, in a game week? And, and as you said last week, you felt good about it going in, and then some of those same problems cropped up. Yeah. Uh, you, you just continue to emphasize it in practice, demand it in practice, and uh, you know. Then again, through repetitions, you take it to the game field, and uh, so that's that's where it all starts because your practice performance is usually the best indicator of what's going to happen on game day because it's just a reflection of your habits. But that we practiced well last week. So, uh, you know, for whatever reason, we got to connect the dots. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.